Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Glad to have you with us. What a beautiful view of the central businesses lighting up the night here in Dallas, Texas. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. By my side, Steve Kerr and Clark Clark. Welcome to 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. But the bad news is there is no basketball. There is no NBA. The game has been canceled. The April Fool's Day, baby. This is the NBA, and we've got a great one in store. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. This is a critical time for them. They've got guys a, a lot of away games coming up, and it's a stretch that's going to be a very, very difficult test. Well, Kevin, I tell you, this stretch of the schedule for this team has really been difficult. I mean, the opponents they face, that's a big part of the reason that they've struggled. I mean, they're facing some of the best teams in the league, and those kinds of teams can make it tough on them. And if we're going to use this stretch of games as a measuring stick, Clark, it tells us that they're not on the level of the league's top team. I mean, they've had a chance to prove that they're pretty good. But they just haven't gone out and done it. Number four gives him the lead pass, and that one's good. Great interplay there between those two teammates. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. He's taking the pace and making sure that pace is up-tempo is what he's hoping they can do in this one. He said, we're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it, too. All right, Doris. Number eight. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. And just about a minute into the first quarter. And he lobs it up. Incredible timing on the alley -oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. There's 154 left in the first quarter of the game. Five on the clock. Number five. Off the mark and a bad shot there. I like the defense, guys. Really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yes, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. One sixteen left in the first. Number seven. Can't cash in from close range. Gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Number six. There's the lob to the hoop. And the lead just goes on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Releases. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. From outside the arc, they grab their own miss. Number seven. Connects from three-point range. They worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening fourth. Well, if they can match that effort at the defensive end, look out. To halt the run, gets it to go. Knocked loose. With one on the clock. No good off the back of the rim. 
And that concludes the first quarter of play. The home team. Coming up Sunday, April 6th, it's East and West. Big time hoops coming your way. the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? So difficult to get a shot off against this defense. They are really playing hard. Yeah, they're playing hard and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents. Three-pointers off the mark. Makes the lead pass. Number 14. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. A finger roll finish at the bucket. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. From deep. Can't get it to go. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. A feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Number 11. All three off the mark gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second number 13 and they cash in right away with the quick shot still trailing but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter it's got a pulse yeah they're making some shots now but finally starting to make up some ground how many times have we seen a possession like that from them today ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass well if you just look at assist as a measuring stick they've been by far the better team 30 seconds left in the first half. Number 12. Blocked. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Lock at six. Number eight. And too long on the shot. the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on that alley-oop. Saw his teammate with the pass to the hoop, and bang! Lobbed it right up there for him. And he was ready for it, elevated, made the catch. You saw the result. And I like the, the choice making him a conservative. Now, presented by Sprint. No fooling. This is 2K Sports, but we still got a few tricks up our sleeves for an April Fool's Day halftime report. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. They look to continue their winning streak. And the visitors still keeping at it. A precision offensive attack, maximizing possessions. They're avoiding turnovers. Just a beautiful game tonight. Some close games out there. Let's get to them. That one's just in quarter number two. And another game going on. The Sprint Halftime Report. The 
second half. Just about to get going here. The visitors with the ball. Eight point game. And the, the glaring factor for me in that loss was the poor rebound. I mean, they got destroyed on the glass. Yeah, they were outworked. I mean, it's plain and simple. To rebound the ball, you got to work. You got to do your work early. You got to be physical. You got to go after the ball. And you can't give up. And they just didn't work hard enough. Well, we've got a moment that's up the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Fueled Up for the second half. Looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting. And that wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about. Down low. Phenomenal alley -oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. He has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Number five. And they call over the back here. Too much mental. Well, that's an aggressive play trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. Number 11. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Number 8. Uses the glass to finish the layup. 64% beautiful all-around play by this offense. Number 14. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Number eight. And it's off from three-point range. Gone one of three since starting the second half. From deep three-point range, they get a bet. And he's going up with the alley-oop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Changes up. He lays it in. He has five. Well, you've got to like the focus that they're showing here in the second half. I see a lot more effort as well. I mean, it's amazing when you lock in memory and bring some energy and intensity, things can pick up in a positive way for you. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish, I thought, was angry. That's a heck of a combination. <laughs> pretty pass and an angry punch. I would call it an irate finish either. Pass break. Here we go. Shot clock in game clock set in for less than six seconds. Gone three or six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Number seven. No good from outside. Takes a three. Number 11. No good. And we've reached the end of the third. The home team. Monday, April. The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. Always going up for the alley oop here. Taken away. From deep. Sinks it. What room from outside? What? Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. 
with 36% of the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Number six. Shot is off. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Number 14. It's good from long range. And he's someone the defense has to keep track of at all times. Because, you know, even when he doesn't have the ball, he moves so well without it, he's constantly a threat to catch and shoot. You know, something else I think about when I see this guy is he's a real headache to have to defend one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's got all of the game that makes it tough for his defender. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He rallied the troops, saying, nobody said it was going to be easy. They're not laying down. They're not going away. If we want this game, we have to take it from them. Kevin, plenty of fire in that seat. And as always, Doris, thank you. Off with the layup. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Number eight. Offensive rebound. Number seven. Number four. One nineteen left here in the fourth quarter. Number five. Hits the three-point bomb. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Number eight. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And you know, they haven't had the best day inside, but they got one when it mattered most. Tries a three. Number eight, drains it from beyond the arc. Gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Well, the fans love it what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Just five on the clock. From ten feet out, and a little luck that time, but it drops. Gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Number nine. All alone. Number 11. No good. So the home crowd happy here is it.